Alright guys, uh, so we got some repair work to do. Uh, it's Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, this is the Liquiforce or Rooster or whatever you want to call it. It's a common triplex diaphragm pump. Uh, 10 gallons a minute or 9.5 or whatever, 150 PSI. Um, I usually actually, and I did, uh, blow out everything. But as you can see down here, we got a nice old crack through there and it was just spraying bleach right out the bottom. Um, so we're gonna take this apart. I'll really, my bigger thing is to find out what all is damaged behind here, if that. I'm hoping that it's just this plastic piece. Um, this actually looks to be in good shape. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take, and sorry, it's kinda of a tight spot, but take these two, well it's out, I may need to take the other ones out, but I'm hoping if I just take these two out, and these two out, that I will then be able to get all of these off and take that whole section out and kinda of see what's going on inside there, uh, order some parts, and hopefully back, be back up and running later next week. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and, this is kinda of straightforward, just take the Allen wrench, um, and take all those bolts out. Another thing too, um, before working on this, uh, I'm wearing gloves um, just in case. Uh, keeps the skin from getting destroyed and messing with all this. Um, but also, obviously, you can see that drip right now. Um, that is likely roof mix. Uh, it might be house wash mix, but still, I'd rather not take a bath in it. Um, so once this actually comes out, I'm probably gonna have a pretty decent gush. Um, I did go ahead and disconnect the supply lines. The other lines are still hooked up. Um, and you can see it's already dripping down onto the pavement as well. Um, but just a, an observation here. So anytime you're pulling apart, especially any, any chemical um, processing pump, you want to make sure that you've um, either flushed it out with water um, or that you're wearing the appropriate uh, gloves. Alright, so it did not want to come off as easy as I was hoping. So I'm going to end up actually taking off these two and these two right here just so I can get full access. Did go ahead and take off again. That's the inlet. Uh, and with this parts order, I'm probably going to go ahead and order um, another one of these. Um, and just basically one of each of the inlets as well as the unloader on it. Um, that way I've got the pieces that I need uh, for any future infield troubleshooting. Because as I say, you need backups. Because if you ain't got backups, you're just... Uh, screwing yourself uh, if anything goes wrong. So, uh, I'll probably also do an oil change on this. Uh, machine has got, uh, I don't know if you can see it, 170, uh, 175 hours or whatever on it. Um, I've definitely made a ton of money with this machine. I love it with soft, soft washing and roof washing. Um, it just speeds up everything and the distance that it can spray is, is pretty awesome. So, I've taken this entire part off. Um, I have, in another prior video, replaced the um, check valves, uh, and you got your O-rings on there. Um, might as well, while you have it open, go ahead and test it. This looks great, the spring's in good shape. Um, you can definitely tell when I installed these other ones, they were a higher quality than the ones that originally came with it. I don't know if, the, if Comet uh, upgraded the options, or if... Uh, the initial one is just the the base model. So um, now the rest of this should be able to come off. Again, I'm going to use two hands. Do not try to pry it. Um, if you do have to wedge anything in there, just do it very gently. You're just trying to just break the seal just a tiny bit so that it'll come off. Um, I may end up completely stripping this whole thing down uh, while I've got it this far apart, just to see if there's anything else that you know, because this. Um, the diaphragms over here, this one up top, and that one there could all be in various stages of of deterioration, um, and no sense in having to do it all over again. So this is actually how it would be oriented, and you can see that crack. And actually looking through the other side, you'll see um, also down there that it's cracked there as well. Uh, and as with anything with liquids, all it takes is a teeny tiny crack and everything goes straight out of it. You lose all your pressure. Um, so kind of give you an idea what you're looking at inside. Um, this seal looks great. I'm not gonna pry that off. I will end up uh, just putting a little bit of lube on there while I've got it apart. Um, remove some of the salt buildup from all the bleach we run through it. Um, the check valve that is normally inside there was actually in, in here. 
and sorry, that's really where it should be. Um, Joe went ahead and took that out. Um, and if you get the replacement part, make sure that you take the, um, the nuts out of it. Um, I have a feeling that with the new one when I buy it, that that will not have the replacement nuts in it. Um, so, and it's always good to just keep some spare parts. I'll probably end up buying two of these since there's a matching, well, you've probably got three of them, but if I have two, at least that way. If another one breaks in the future, we've got that backup. Um, I will try and get onto the other side of this just to make sure there's not any cracks or damages on that side. Um, top one. This is honestly, this one will probably last the entire time. The bottom two, um, especially with blowing out the machine, um, they are more likely to have some trapped water in there. Uh, that's my, my guess as to why that broke the way that it did. Um, because it would have just taken, I mean, we had about 15 degree temperatures the other night. Um, and I should have run antifreeze through it, so learn a lesson. Uh, but it's been, you know, into the low 40s every day, so I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. Um, and that's my bad. Um, so I can't really do too much more on this video right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the part ordered. Uh, again, some of the replacement pieces. Um, and then put it all back together. So if you got any other questions, uh, certainly feel free to reply to this video. Um, I will do a, another video putting everything back together.